be showing you guys how to create a Binance Smart Chain wallet. This is going to give you access to a bunch of different DeFi platforms and a bunch of different yield farming opportunities. Uh, and the fees are a lot lower than uh, DeFi on the Ethereum mainnet, of course. So without further ado, let's dive into that. Yep, I, I know, I shaved, so I now look like I'm like 16. <laughs> so let's do this, I, I, had to, I had to throw that in somewhere. All right, let's begin the video. All right, traders, let's do this. So the two, the two tools you need uh, to do it this way, to get the Binance uh, Smart Chain Wallet in MetaMask, you're gonna need MetaMask, duh, uh, the wallet, the MetaMask wallet, and you're also gonna need a Binance.com account. Once you have those two things, you can continue watching the video if you already have them. Okay, so here's how we're actually gonna set it up. Click the MetaMask uh, extension, and then just to, just to maximize view, you're gonna click Expand View. That's how we can make it look like this. After that, click on your profile, which is on the top right. I named mine Uniswap for whatever reason. It, okay, uh, you're gonna click Settings. You, after you click Settings, you're then going to click Networks. And all of this is what you basically have to use. So if you want to, you know, this is, uh, I can link this in the description below, but this is basically Binance telling you how to make it, but you need all of um, these things. So basically just copy what I have here. This is public, this is nothing private, but this is exactly what it should um, what it should look like, okay? So after that, you're then gonna click save and then you're gonna connect to that network. To connect to the network, you should be able to do it pretty easily, um, but you just click right here and it'll probably already be set on the Ethereum network but then you're just gonna click that new one that should pop up that says Smart Chain. You're in. Okay, step two uh, with the Binance Smart Chain wallet. This includes Binance, unsurprisingly. So my goal here, let's say that I wanna yield farm in under 10 minutes with not paying many fees. Let's go right in, let's do it. Here's what we do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to send BNB over to my MetaMask wallet. Let's do that. So I already preloaded that by buying, I think, one BNB, a little bit over one BNB. So I'm gonna withdraw that. And withdrawing that, you can see I made some already, uh, already made some other withdrawals. And yep. And what I, what you need to click is this. You need to click BSC. Do not click the first one because we're putting it in the Binance Shape Wallet. Also, you can see the fee is a bit cheaper too. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click max. Please confirm again that the, yeah, you need to be very careful. So if you want to be very, very careful, you could send out like a test transaction, like a small one first. But yeah, this all looks good to me. Okay, and recipient's uh, BNB address. So how we get this is I'm gonna go back to MetaMask. I'm gonna click this, copy to, clip, copy to clip, clipboard. Make sure it's you're in your smart chain though. Make sure you're not in your Ethereum mainnet. Make sure you're in your smart chain. Okay, copy to clipboard of that one. I'm going to put that in here. All this looks good. I'm gonna click submit and I'm going to enter my authentication code. Okay, I also have to send code to my email. Um, okay. Um, so this might take a little bit longer than I had expected. So as you can see, the deposit did go through. So now we have 1.1 BNB in our uh, BSC wallet, smart chain wallet, awesome. Moving on to the next one. So we're gonna be using AutoFarm today. This is one of the main BSC uh, protocols. So I feel mostly pretty comfortable using this. And I already kind of did a test transaction where I put, I think like 24 bucks into, into this farm right here. The one we're gonna be targeting today is the Egg BNB liquidity pool. So don't worry, I'm gonna hold your hand through this of how do we set up this liquidity pool and how do we earn these monstrosity of rewards, 269,000% per year. That is a little bit misleading. Um, let me just tell you what's going on. This is going to pay you 2.26% per day on paper. But what ends up happening is it compounds consistently. And if you hold it for a year, theoretically, it should pay you out that amount um, because it continues to compound on that uh, flat, flat APR interest rate per day. Daily APR, full APY per year. 
So that's just something you do have to be careful of. Additionally, this is highly risky. The egg token could like completely fall apart and you'd lose a lot of money if that happened, of course. So volatility can really hurt you and impermanent loss can occur. So just, this is something very risky. I just wanna tell you guys, it's high risk, but high reward. Okay, so well, let's do it. Let's hop right in. To do this, we're gonna to have to, to set up the egg BNB liquidity pool. And in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to Goose Finance right here. I'm gonna click exchange and we're gonna to go to exchange BNB for egg. So let's do 0 0.5 BNB and I'm going to get egg, perfect. Which I already have a little bit of. Mm -hmm. Swap and look at just how cheap the fee is. If anyone here has traded DeFi before with, with Ethereum, fees can be like a hundred bucks, you know, after many transactions when you add them up all together. But this one you can see just is not that expensive as, at all. So I'm gonna click swap. It's all. It's then gonna ask you, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? Price updated, hmm, okay, whatever. Confirm swap, and then something's gonna pop up right here. Okay. You can see here, and um, the gas fee is really, really small. That's not a lot. Let's do this, confirm, and here we go. Transaction submitted. So the one thing I didn't explain yet is on Goose Finance, what you're gonna have to do, okay, the transac the transaction already confirmed, so I already have it. Mm -hmm. It's very fast, like lightning fast. You're gonna have to go to the top right and you, you are gonna click connect wallet. Make sure when you connect your wallet, you're not connecting to the Ethereum mainnet, that you're connecting to your MetaMask BSC uh, chain. Be very careful with that, okay? And then you're also gonna do the same thing for Auto Farm. You're gonna to go to the very top right and you're going to connect your BSC wallet, okay? All right, let's 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 do this. So now that we have egg and we have BNB, let's go make the LP, the liquidity pool. To do that, I'm gonna click liquidity. Uh, you can also just click it there. Add liquidity, as much BNB as I can get, and well, first of all, let's get egg in there. Um, as much egg, so there it is. Uh, if, I do, if I max out this, yeah, but I don't have that. So this is going to get me the liquidity pool. All right, I get this many of uh, the tokens. So I'm gonna click confirm supply. Same thing's gonna pop up, we're gonna see some fees. Let's go see uh, just how, how bad this is. It's not bad at all. I think that's under a dollar even. Confirm, and here we go. Let's see, it will probably only take a few seconds, so maybe like a minute for the liquidity to liquidity pool to create. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, it already it already confirmed. So because it already confirmed, we're ready. We are in business, baby. Let's do this. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna refresh the page for good measure, and then I'm gonna go to egg uh, WBNB pool, and we're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You can see you're gonna want to be in uh, BSC uh, pools as well. Okay. So to get there, I just clicked this to try to see what are the the highest payouts, and there she is. So it's not deposited yet, but it recognizes it, which is good. I'm gonna click max, deposit. It's gonna give me another thing. Let's see the fee on this guy. I don't think that the fee is gonna be that bad either. Probably again, that like 0 0.002. Oh, that is really cheap. Wow. Depositing, let's see if it goes through. Fingers crossed. Let's see. It did it. Okay. Transaction uh, completed. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. And there she is. Uh, so that's in there. One thing I do have to tell you guys about these liquidity pools is that um, there are a lot of fees. All right, everything went through, good. So it's in there right now. We did it. So there are a lot of fees. You can see that there's a controller fee, platform fee, auto buyback fee, and, and fees here. But um, I think that it's probably worth it despite the fees here. If you hold this for like at least a day or two, I think you're probably gonna be freeze, but it all depends on the volatility of the token, of course, because if the volatility of the token's like really, really bad, then that could, of course, like really hurt you. Not surprisingly. The final thing that you can do is optional, and we're gonna get into that, but let's just do a quick timeline of like what we just did and all that craziness. First thing that we did was we had a, um, we had MetaMask and we had Binance, and we created the Binance smart chain in MetaMask by copying all those things and then adding that. We sent BNB to BSC 
in MetaMask. I know that's a lot of different things. Whoa. And then after that, I went to autofarm.network auto for, for DeFi. You can go to other platforms as well that support BSC. I went there. I found that I needed to get an egg WBNB. So I, I, I looked for a place to buy egg, which is Goose Finance. And because I, I trust Goose Finance, BNB I already have. So then I pull the tokens together by clicking the liquidity page, add liquidity, awesome. After I added the liquidity and created an LP, then I uh, put the LP in here. And now I'm going to get rewards and pay these fees. Cool. So the final thing you can do is optional, but there's something called Yield Watch that tells you just how much you, um, you have in liquidity pools. So you, you can go here, you can click this, and it actually shows you all of the pools you have together. So look at this. You can see so far I'm down 23%. Uh, not 23%, down 23 cents since my start. As you can see here, that's that's fine. And you can see there, yield, yeah. And this is a pretty helpful tool, Yield Watches. So I highly recommend that you, you go use this. This only works for BSC. It doesn't work for the Ethereum mainnet course. So that is a little bit of liquidity mining, uh, yield farming on Binance Smart Chain. This is high risk, guys, high risk, high reward. So please be very, very careful. Um, this is not for the, this is not for the weak hands. This is something where some of these tokens can really fluctuate and you could have quite large losses or quite large gains. So, you know, do your best, but I think that overall DeFi is probably gonna be here to stay and liquidity mining, if you do it safely, I think, can be very, very lucrative. So if you have any more questions about DeFi kind of stuff, you can just private message me and that'll be it.